All right, so we are nearing the end. Pretty much, yep, got all this figured out. And next step, we want to apply pressure to the edges, make sure that they're all done and nice. So again, not too much pressure, but do give it quite a bit of push just to make sure that the edges, especially around the corners like this, where you don't really care about wrinkles, just make sure that everything is all glued down. And I've already done the bottom, so that doesn't really matter. But the important thing with the edges is remember, there is glue on the other side of this covering. And when you're working with an edge, say here, and you're working from inside to outside, glue's gonna seep out. And that, without a sock, is gonna end up on the end of your iron. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's all glue and yellow and yuck stuff. So, before we uh, finalize our face, we want to, first of all, turn it off. It's quite a bit hot. So do be careful, but what I do is grab a few tissues or towels or something and just try and get as much of this crap off. Now the iron, I would wait till the iron is off, but I've done this so many times and burned myself so many times that I really don't really mind anymore. But yeah, you can see on the tissue there, all that yellow stuff, if we were to work on our face, it would be glued to our covering, which is not very good. And you do need to apply quite a bit of force to get this stuff off. Yeah, that looks like it's coming off nicely. Most of it's off. And when you can't really see yellow on the tissue, and yeah, don't forget the edges there. But yeah, the iron's still hot, don't burn yourself. It's like 200 to 200 degrees or something. It can do some significant damage to your skin if you're not careful. All right, so that's all clean. Turn it back on. Turn it a bit higher because what we really want to do now is go over the surface one last time, clean iron, and work out all the little imperfections. And now that it's covered, there's no risk of it's all shrunk, there's no not really any risk of wrinkles and pushing and stuff. Um, you can start to apply pressure where there is wood. Don't apply pressure where there is like squares of uh, squares of nothing underneath because it will bust a hole straight through and you have to do the entire thing again. What you want to do over the areas with no wood is a little bit higher and just shrink it as much as you can that way it's got as much tension in it as possible and that way you can get a very very streamlined shape but do bear in mind that yeah, you can sort of tap with your finger very, very lightly how much tension is in there. But it really doesn't want to give out too much, which is a good sign. But yeah, start pushing down, especially on these areas. Again, I do say push down, but very, very light. 
There is still a risk uh, the heat from the uh, iron can unstick the glue and it can all wrinkle up on you. And again, it's all about balance. You don't want it, you don't want to put too much tension in there that a big gap like this will sort of unglue the edges here. Because there's so much tension in here, it wants to shrink so much and it's starting to pull out all the covering and just trying to shrink too much. Don't want that. So it's all about balance and finding out. It's all about experimentation. Yep. The last thing to do after these are all nice and in tension. This little square here is giving me the most trouble. Alright, last thing to do, I think that's all good. I like to go over the edges just one more time, the very edges like around the corner where where the um, film is sticking to and just push down, make sure it's all tight don't need that much heat for this again, it doesn't need to be perfect because this whole section is getting covered by another piece and the other side's going to wrap around as well but it is all about just thinking ahead thinking oh this bit doesn't matter it's going to be covered yada 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 even with this we'll have the cowling coming over so these edges don't really matter too much bottom. Just slowly work over one more time. And yeah, that'll about yeah, do it. So that is how you cover using covering fill and an iron. Some people use a heat gun as well, but I think that's a bit overkill. I don't really want to put more heat into this bit because you can already see I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up but you can start to see, you know you can differentiate between what's stuck down and what isn't and it's nicely stuck down on the wood bits you can probably see those lines that's stuck down and where um, there is no wood, it's nice and in tension and there isn't too much, I call it bubbling because once you put too much tension in there it will start to bubble out as it starts to pull on these edges. 